Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. Somebody regrets doing something deceptive. They have regrets that they weren't giving to your situation. I feel like they were secretly giving to another situation. And they regret it now. I'm like getting this energy of like somebody is almost like fed up with their own crap. Like somebody is tired of being deceptive. Somebody is tired of being secretive, sneaking around. But yeah, because I feel like whatever they've been doing is, has actually been causing them a lot of mental, mental turmoil. But you would think that if it was that hard on them mentally that they wouldn't be doing it. But they were. And this could be a current situation or a past situation. But I see somebody... I see communication coming in, guys, because somebody, but just don't think that when this communication comes in that this person has changed their perspective on life, on the situation. They still see things the same way that they did. Or they have a very skewed perspective. Like, if you guys find out that this person has been giving to another situation, they may have been, like, maybe hiding money as well, or, like, giving money to somebody else and you didn't know about it. Leo energy, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody is going to be seeing something very clear, guys. Something's going to be made very clear. Somebody's going to be seeing the truth of a situation. Somebody is just not very wise. Somebody just makes dumb decisions. They have a lot of growing up to do or a lot of lessons to still learn or wisdom to gain. This person, yeah, there's um, there's a cycle that is yet, yet to close out because somebody doesn't know. There ha somebody doesn't know some information, all right? I feel like it's you guys are going to find out that somebody wants to leave your connection behind. This is for people that are in a commitment or in a marriage, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. Or they're dealing with somebody like consistently you're gonna find out that that person no longer wants to be involved with you or wants to leave that your situation behind or this is something that has already happened and now they regret being deceptive they're they're not sleeping well at night they're having a lot of fear a lot of anxiety for giving to another situation and you didn't know about it but there's some type of unfinished business between you and this person. A lesson hasn't been learned. You guys haven't learned your lesson from this situation. Something about this situation, there's still karmic um, lessons to still be learned with this person. And that's why it hasn't 100% closed out yet. Or it's not 100% energetically released. I feel like the juggling has come to an end. If the, if you're going to find out that somebody had another person, it's, not, it's going to come to an end. Um, or it already has. But, um, and I do see like, yeah, I see somebody wanting to drop the conflict with you, drop the tension between you two and, but they're wanting to, but they lack the drive to do so. Because if somebody's refusing to heal, somebody is not doing the healing work that they need to do. Yeah, somebody is like refusing to get some type of burdens off of their back that would be solved by them working on healing themselves. Like somebody's carrying something very heavy on their back. I mean, it could be that they're still, they haven't even told you that, because I see somebody not being able to sleep at night. I see somebody being stressed out, having anxiety, and it's because they're being deceptive. This person hasn't changed, and I don't feel like it's, they're going to change anytime soon. They're very immature, and I feel like this person may also be dealing with 
issues in their stability, issues in their money as well. But I do see some things that were hidden that are going to be revealed. That's what I'm seeing here, guys. From the past, past situations, something that happened in the past is going to be revealed. And um, it's going to be about somebody having like a about somebody having like a new start in love with somebody else or they had some type of new beginning in love with somebody else while they were still with you is what I'm seeing here. Um, and it's going to put an end to a long-term situation. That's what I'm seeing here. A long-term commitment situation, marriage is going to it, come to an end because somebody's going to find out um, that somebody was being deceptive and somebody was giving to another situation while they were in a commitment where they were in a marriage. So what I'm seeing here. So let's go ahead and elaborate, elaborate on this. Or let's get some more clarity on this is what I'm trying to say. This is a little bit of a different energy coming through. This is kind of similar to um, the Libra reading for the week. Um, and I did, I said, didn't I say air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Um, yeah. And there was another sign. I think Scorpio was kind of similar to this. Did I mention Scorpio? But yeah. So let's see. What should we look at? What is this person hiding? Because there's that, whenever the Seven of Swords comes out, hiding something. It can be any sign, but those are just the signs that are coming out most prominent in this reading. This person is hiding something. They're lying. They're being deceptive. Something from the past. Secrets. Unusual preferences. They could have an interest or... Or engaging in something that is not considered mainstream. And that's like sexual in nature, guys, for me. Something maybe sexual in nature. Interesting. Bad traits. Energy vampire. Yeah, I was getting that this was like an unequal give and take in this connection with you and this person. They, This person is an energy vampire and they've been draining you guys. All right, because they haven't been, you, I feel like possibly you guys have been giving to this person, but they have not been giving to you. They've been giving to another situation, but also taking from you at the same time, taking from this third party and taking from you too. Cheating. A friend is not just a friend. So somebody that this person calls their friend, um, like this person may be saying that they're talking to their friend. Like if you hear their phone going off and they're like, oh, that's just my friend. It's actually was this person. It was actually their third party or it's somebody that you guys are well aware of. Somebody that you know. This person, like, you guys had maybe suspicions about another person. And they were like, no, we're just friends. But Spirit says that, no, there's more going on than that between them. I won't say that it has gotten, like, too far off the ground. But something is brewing, it says, between them and this person. So, like, maybe they know that they, like, maybe they want to take their relationship to the next level. And they know they can't do that while um, they're still in a marriage or a connection, a long-term commitment with you. We have paranoia. That was that nine of swords energy. Suffering from paranoia, just waiting for you to slip up or be unfaithful is driving them mad. What? So at the same time, this person is cheating. This person is also paranoid that you are going to find somebody else or that you are cheating on them. Wow, this person is ridiculous, guys. This person... This person is scared that you're going to find somebody new. This person is scared that... um. You may be cheating on them as well, cheating back. Or now you guys probably don't even know that they're cheating, but they're afraid that you are cheating while they are cheating. Like what what how does that make any sense? Um yeah, cheating. There's heavy flirting via text or sexting sexting taking place, perhaps even more. So yes, what I said, I don't feel like this relationship has gotten all the way off the ground. This could be like an online relationship and they want to make it something like they want to be able to come into actual union. Like they want to have a full out and out relationship and they can't do that while you guys are in a marriage or in a commitment is what they feel um but they're they're talking to somebody they're texting somebody emailing somebody sexting somebody snapchat you know snapchat's a big um culprit for that or whatever i'm trying to say that's where that a lot of that crap goes down but um yeah goodness so 
What should we look at? Let's get the third. Let's take a look at this more of this third party situation. They're afraid you are cheating while they are cheating. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what is going on? All right, let's see. What is going on in the connection between my collective and this person that they're dealing with. What's going on with the collective and this person? Back and forth. So you and this person could just, there already could be some turmoil going on in the, your relationship. You guys could be arguing at this time. Um, maybe for some of you, it has been an on and off relationship. It's not, if it's not that. Um, like somebody in this connection has been weighing their options. Going back and forth on whether or not they do want to leave the connection or if they don't. Um, if they want to stay with you, if they don't, um, somebody's going back and forth. Maybe that's also why they're in that nine of swords energy. They can't make up their mind. The situation will improve with you and this person, though. Whether I'm not saying that you guys are going to get back together, but if things are bad, just know that things won't always be bad. All right, Spirit wants to assure you that. Um, but it looks like it could take some time before the situation gets resolved. Um, but Spirit says just continue to persevere because you will be rewarded for that desperate somebody has fears of ending this relationship or this relationship being over all right somebody is even if you're not like consciously desperate somebody is like feels like they have to be in a relationship or they don't want to be single they don't feel like they're going to be able to release their person they're not sure if they're going to be able to do that that's why this person is cheating this is probably them this is this person they're cheating but they want they don't want you cheating they they're afraid that you are cheating or you're going to find somebody else they're this person's not going to have they're not going to be able to let you go even though they're in a whole full full-blown situation ship on the side exhausted yeah that's that nine of nine of wands energy breaking point tired of living a double life i told you this person is living a double life they have a they have a side chick or a side dude and they're also in a commitment with you or not really committed to you but they're in a marriage or a commitment with you that's what I'm seeing here. And they're having drama with you currently. And they're having drama with this third party at the same time. Just so you guys know. And it says, I'm trash. Yeah, this person that you're dealing with is trash. All right? That's probably why I'm going to name this reading. They are trash. They want you to, they don't want you cheating. Or they don't want you to find somebody new. Or they're going to they're accuse you of cheating or having somebody else while they are cheating. They're a player. It's like they they got it says they've got the game down. So this person knows how to play you. They've been they, it's like they they've got to a point where they like they've been like able to successfully cheat while being in this relationship with you because they've like learned there's something here about like they've learned the way that you are. This person, I don't feel like even at, with this situation that they're currently dealing with, I don't even feel like this was the first time that they cheated. Like, this is a career cheater. And some of you guys didn't even know this. You guys didn't even know this or had any idea that that was even going on until this person maybe tells you that they want to leave this situation behind. That they don't feel like they're getting what they need from this situation. That's what I'm also getting that vibe. They're going to be like, I'm not getting enough from this situation. I don't feel like I'm getting anything from it. Yeah, I feel like this is not the first time they have cheated either. This is just the first time you guys are finding out about it. So, let's see. What's going on with them in this third party? Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to... I feel like this is maybe a blow to some of you guys. And we're going to actually take a look to see what's going on with the third party and the um, extended reading. Let's take a look to see what's going on with you guys. All right? Let's see. Um, hmm. What do I want to take a look at? Let's get you guys some advice in regards to the situation. 
And let's also get you guys, um, let's see what you guys are going to be manifesting for yourself. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. I want to get you guys some, you know, leave this reading off on a somewhat positive note. Give you guys something to um, look forward to. Um, and get you, give you guys some help, um, some you know, to help you navigate through this situation if this is your story that's coming out here. Some of you guys, this hasn't even happened yet, all right? But some of you guys, your gut's been telling you something is off. Or some of you guys, I feel like for some of you guys, you are going to be blindsided, unfortunately. Yeah, some of you guys are too afraid. Like, some of you guys don't want to let this person go. Like, this person, you guys deserve so much better than this person, but you guys are going to be afraid to let this person go because you don't want to start over. This could be somebody that you have dealt with very long term, guys. This could be somebody you were married to or that you guys have just been in a long term commitment with. And it's scary to start out over, you know, to get back out there and start dating again. Try to build a light for yourself, by yourself, apart from this person. But Spirit says they are giving you the opportunity to build something even better for yourself than what you have with this person. They're giving you a clean slate to create your life, to create the life that you desire. And to get away from this person that's draining you. They're an energy vampire. They're draining you energetically. Um, I don't know if you guys have been in other relationships before this one. But maybe you guys like, I'm getting this vibe of like, maybe you guys have had bad relationships before you met this person. And then you met them and you guys have been in a long-term relationship. And you feel like this is maybe the best relationship that you've ever been in. Or um, you just felt like finally maybe I've met a good person. Maybe I finally met a good one. And then obviously things aren't going, this person isn't a good one. All right. This person's trash as spirit has relayed to us. Um, but spirit is saying that if this isn't the first time you've encountered a, like a situation like this, or, um, you feel like you just have not had luck in other relationships and now this one's going bad too. Spirit says, because there's some, un I told you in the, in the um, tarot, somebody has been avoiding doing work on themselves. Somebody hasn't been avoiding healing. All right, and it's until you heal, you're going to attract people, romantic partners, friendships, relationships. It, you're going to be attract negativity to you. You're going to attract um, relationships that aren't going to work out for you. So it's very important that that's why spirit is also probably putting an end to this relationship because they say that's more important. Your own personal growth, you healing, so you can live your life to to the fullest for your highest good. They said that that is more important, and I feel like you are going to keep um, suppressing that. Unless you got away from this person. Yeah. There's like coming up to the surface is things that you need to heal and work on. Yeah, because you guys have been acting like you're totally okay with maybe some things. There's some things that you guys need to heal from or some things within yourself that need to be um, worked on. And you guys have been acting like you don't need to work on anything. I don't need to heal from anything. I'm perfectly fine. I'm okay. Pretending like nothing is wrong. But... You guys, some of you guys have a hole in your heart. Some of you guys are heartbroken and you guys are trying to act like you're not by maybe even things that have happened in your childhood. Something traumatic that happened in the past, you guys. Um, or once this person comes forward and they confess this to you, you guys cannot bury your feelings that you feel in regards to that situation. You guys have to feel it, acknowledge it, accept the reality of the situation so that you can release it. And then, you know, you can, you need to be, Please, guys, don't let this person stagnate you and keep you in a rut or in limbo. Spirit is trying to teach you a lesson with this situation. And they want, they they feel like, they, they are saying you are more important than this relationship or this marriage. Or they're saying that your healing is more important. Especially if you guys have children. The One of the best things that you can do for your children is heal yourself so that they don't have to heal from you in the future. All right, so Spirit is saying that th there's some things that need to be addressed wholeheartedly within you that are that apparently is more important than this relationship staying together or this marriage staying together. All right, you and obviously you don't want to stay with somebody that doesn't love you enough to not to not cheat on you, to not keep secrets from you. That that wants to possess you, but not be faithful to you. And really, nobody, even if this person was faithful to you, that whole possession energy is toxic. They shouldn't want to possess you. Anyways, it says, um, and like, if you and this person do break up, don't rush into dating again. Don't rush into, you know what I mean? Just take your time. Really focus on yourself because that's what I feel like the main message I'm getting for you guys is that Spirit really wants you to focus on yourself once you um, separate from this person. Don't try to rush into another relationship. 
the person and the love and the relationship, yeah, the relationship and the love that you desire is out there for you. And you probably will manifest that for yourself in the future, but you're not going to be able to manifest that unless you do this work on yourself. All right. Um, so be have patience, trust in divine timing, trust in your divine plan. Yeah, there's something toxic within you guys that spirit wants to bring to your attention. And spirit says that's the first step in manifesting this person that you desire or this relationship that you desire. The family you desire is acknowledging your own toxic traits and patterns so that you can change them so that you can work on them. You need to focus on fixing yourself first before you're in a relationship. And I feel like, especially like I said, if you have children or for anybody that you deal with on a consistent basis, um, that will prevent that from rippling onto them. All right. Um, what else was I going to get for you guys? Oh, there was something else I wanted to do. Oh, let's see what you guys are manifesting. Or how were we at time-wise? 24 minutes. All right. So actually, guys, <laughs> this carried on longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I am going to extend this reading. We're going to be looking at what you guys are manifesting um, for your future. Once you guys, you know, separate from this person, um, start going down your divine path, working on yourselves, doing shadow work, healing. We're going to see what you guys are going to be manifesting for your future. Um, we're also going to be taking a look at what's going on with this third party. What's going on in their connection or their relationship, situationship, probably is a good word for that. Um, and I feel like we're also going to get you guys some more advice because I feel like Spirit's calling me to do that. Um, 